Hey everyone, I'm Link here, and welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts. Where last time, we made our way halfway through Mia's mind. It's time to see how fast you are, darling. Ready? Get set? Go, baby, go! Learning how to levitate, and now we are in a race to see just how good we are. Do not worry about getting all the figments in this area. It is not feasible on your first time through because you are racing three other campers. We've got the cheerleader twins who are not that big of a deal. And we have Bobby Zilch. Ugh. Bobby Zilch is decently fast. If you screw up, he will be on you in an instant. So don't screw up. As you head down, you're going to pass through several arches like these. The arches with symbols in the middle will give you a nice speed boost. There's also jump pads, or sorry, jumping ramps like that that'll send you flying, which can be quite fun. Okay, it looks like we've got a bit of a lead on Bobby right now, so that is good. Feeling good about this. And, oh, 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 oh. That was a much higher jump than I expected. Oh dear. Well, that slowed us down a bit. That's not good. Not good at all. And damn it. Uh, you saw a tunnel off to the right. That tunnel was a sh Ow! Why? Uh, yeah. And now Bobby's ahead. But yeah, no, that tunnel on the right was a shortcut. If we had actually gone in it, we would have been quite a bit faster than we were going now. Damn you, Bobby, get back here. neck and neck are we gonna make it yes barely made it you're quick like greasy lightning i'm uh, so proud of you darling you're so fast you'll be at my party in no time eh uh mia can you explain what greasy lightning is okay if you want to get up to where the action is you're going to have to do a lot of floating in this room baby good thing you're so light on your feet uh, would have been nice if we had subtitles there. Thanks, game. But yeah, we have made it to, I believe, the final area of Mia's mind, learning how to levitate. Uh, how many figments we got in here? 57 figments, 2 cobwebs. Alright, well, since we beat Bobby Zilch, we should be able to head back to that race at any time we want to grab the, all the many, many figments that we missed. There's no way you're getting all the figments on your first time through, just... Expect to come back to this level for a second trip. Especially with how the figments just blend in. But yeah, this room has figments just absolutely everywhere. Many of them are moving, which makes it a lot more difficult to track them down. Thankfully, it's only like, I don't know, I want to I want to say a small number and hope I'm right. Let's say 10. Let's say there's 10 that are moving around. I know it's probably more than that. It would be nice if it was only 10. But yeah, we got figments everywhere and oh, there is a bag tag in the middle that I missed. All right, come on, let us up there. Give me that figment. The actual puzzle to get through this area is not bad at all. I just want to make sure I get as many figments as I can. I'm not seeing too many more. Let's head forward, see if... Ah! See if we can't find any from, uh, from up above. Like, ooh. Saw one floating around over here. Where did it go? Oh. There it is, there it is. Get over here, you old man. Reading your newspaper and escaping from me. Where'd it go? Damn it. Oh. I'll get it later. It's fine. Piano, yeah, this room is just full of figments. They are absolutely everywhere. Which also means it's really easy to miss one. Since they're kind of just scattered. If you float in some areas, you might get a little more oof than usual. Thank you, Mia. I already figured that out, but I appreciate it. 
What do you think I'm doing floating in these uh, bubble stacks, bubble blowers? Okay, how high are you gonna take us? Ooh, what do we got here? A button? Now you're going to have to use your side float again to get those rings spinning. All right, got the fan going. Now you want us to uh, turn on the rings? I suppose I can do that. First, I see, oh my god, there are so many figments up here, and we got a bag. Hello, emotional baggage. Hmm, that door's not open. Okay. That fan is not going to let us go through the rings, is it? Okay, let's go bottom to top then. Our get the old man and the other figments while they're in sight. Where'd the old man go? Probably should have gone for that first. Okay, let's go bottom up. Float up through the bottom of the ring. And there should just be one more over... Oh, no, I was in the wrong spot entirely. That works. Alright, the path forward is open, but we've got so many. We've got so many figments remaining. God, where do we even start? Old man? Finally got you. No more taunting me. We got one sitting just right here waiting for us. Thank you. What? I, I, I know there's more than this. I know I saw a lot more. Where are they all? Oh, there's one. Way off over here. And what's this gold thing? Aggressive capacity increase. We can now have more side blast shots. Nice. Our max ammo has gone to 35. God, the worst part about this is, is probably a lot of them are easily visible on screen. I'm just looking in the wrong places. Okay, there's one. You get back over here. No, don't fly. Oh, where'd it go? Damn it. How many do we have? 36 of 57. We're only like, we're a little over halfway done. God, I know I keep seeing some, but they keep escaping me. Here we go. Where are the others? I'm feeling just about ready to go to the next area and just come back here when I know how many I'm missing. That would definitely make it a bit easier to know how many I'm missing in this room. Yeah, let's do that. Next area is actually the final area. Mia is waiting just in front of us. If we want to end the level, we just gotta go talk to her. So obviously we're not gonna talk to her yet. First, all the figments surrounding her. Just gotta carefully leap from platform to platform. Siphload is so useful. Okay, looks like we're about at the top. Let's start heading back down, get the ones on the other side before we go check out that top area. I saw a figment floating on one of those chandelier things. And then just... That one over there, I guess.
All right, there's a bunch down below too. We can probably get these pretty quickly. Hey, get back here. Don't you roll, run away from me. Oh, we got a cobweb. I believe that is the last one for this area. Nice. Okay, now where's the other figments? Damn it, no! I saw one going up the wall. Fine, I guess since I'm up here, I can start climbing back up to the top. See what I can get up uh, up top. We'll just head back for the bottom ones later. Okay, unfortunately, we can't quite jump that high, so we're gonna hop on this door frame, and from there, hop to the chandelier. Okay, figment to our left, and looks like that's it. Anything else? Any figments trying to be sneaky? Guess not. Can't even make that. Barely can't make that, so. Hello. Oh, God. Really? Come on. Give me that. Give me that figment. Gotcha. How are we doing? 52 or 57. We're missing five. I see a few right in the middle, right by Mia. So that should be three more to go? Okay, if there's only about three left, we should be able to find them in here pretty easily. Actually, no, this is a big room. Oh, there's one. Perfect. Where'd it go? There we go. No, God, get back up here. Thank you. Two left. God, I feel like they should be in this room, probably. But I don't see them. Well, we do have to make another trip to this level anyway. We can only get the last two in this area then. It's not the biggest deal in the world. I see. It's Rasputin, the rolling rock star in the flesh. And just in time, the party was dying without you, darling. Here, I have a little party favor for you. All right, we got our levitation merit badge. Don't be a stranger, darling. Thank you, Agent Vodello. Now it's back to the lab to save Dogen. Dogen's not in the lab, sweetie. He's watching TV in the lodge with the other children. I meant the dream Dogen from my brain tumbler vision. If I can find out what's happening to him, maybe that would give me a clue about who stole real Dogen's brain. Oh, I'm afraid he's just like that. Wow, so mean to Dogen. But yeah, now that we have levitation, before we go back and save Dogen, there are a lot of things we can grab now. Basically, the entire camp is now open to us. We can clear almost every single area in the camp at this point with the power of levitation. So let's go get ourselves some Psy cards. And I see something up on top of that rock. We'll get to that later. I also got something on this rock. Ow! Okay, that was a mistake. Alright, can we levitation bounce over to that? Rude! Hang on! It won't let us up! That was very rude, game! Damn it. Okay, well, I guess it's not going to let us go for that side card. Ah, no, 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 don't slip in the water. Well, I do know I saw one up on the roof right up there. Can we get on top of the roof? No? Keep hitting that damn net. Maybe over here? 
You get Wasn't that great when I beat you in that levitation race? Oh my god, Raz, you little shit. You little shit. I love you. Oh my god. Okay, can we get up from here? No. Hmm. Come on, we've got to be able to get up there, right? Maybe if we float around this way, around the net? Nope, not gonna work. Come on, made it. Okay, one more try. We can do this. No? How about from this rock? Damn it. Hit my head on the net. Sorry, Raz. Did not mean to drown you this many times. Alright, well, I take it it's not going to let us go there yet. What else can we find? Lily, I'm sorry if this hurts you, but you should know. Milka and I have fallen in love. I don't know how it happened. Does anyone ever really know? The heart wants what it wants. Friends, Elton. P.S. I have your last homework assignment. If you want to meet me sometime, I can give it to you. Oh gosh, the relationship drama is out of control. Elton, why? Okay, let's see if we can get that challenge marker up on top of that, on top of this giant rock. Come to me! Wait, no, 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 too far, too far. Damn you. Okay, let's try this again. Not flying way past target. There we go. Oh, God. Okay, well, at least we got the challenge marker. On sale now in the main store, we have a special on Dream Fluffs. Yeah. I hear you. All right, how many do we got? One more scavenger hunt item, and that was six more side cards for this area. I know a bunch of the side cards are over at the docks that we can't get to because of fucking Bobby Zilch. What's over here? Anything useful? Any side cards? Nothing? Can we climb up here? Nope. That kind of looks like a path you can climb up, but I guess not. Hmm. I don't think we can really get anything else here right now. I'm pretty sure we've scavenged this end of the this end of the lake pretty thoroughly. We can get onto the most of the docks because of Bobby. Is there? Are we sure there's nothing up here? Guess so. Hmm. All right, well, we'll come back to the lake later. All right, main campground, you are next. Oh no. What are the cheerleaders doing? That's, that's very concerning. That's weird. Those guys just left all their stuff out here. What would happen? There are a lot of... Okay, children are being weird. We got these two missing. The cheerleaders are on the roof. What's happening? Uh, how, how's everyone in the lodge doing? I know they said uh, Dogen is in here. We can check on him. Kitty. Oh, kitty. Girl. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Kitty. Kitty! Kitty, you so fine, girl! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Kid, you suck at this. Switch it up, Quentin. Come on! Miss boo bye boo -ah. That's not even a song, dude. 
It's like, oh, why I ought to simmer down there, Phoebe. You promised Mia you wouldn't burn any more kids. <sighs> okay. Yeah, no, these kids are not very good. Also, Quentin, your song's... She's so pretty. It's a pity. This little ditty. Th this little ditty is indeed a pity. You can't just rhyme. TV. Hacky sack. Yes, hacky sack. Oh no, they're all brainless. Hi, Raz. Vernon, you're okay. Yeah, we're great. Me and my pals Kitty and Frankie are just hanging out telling stories and watching the boob tube. TV! Vernon, look at them. They're zombies. It did seem kind of weird when they let me get this close to them. And then they didn't mind when I talked all through the show. Kitty even agreed to go on a date with me, more or less. We're gonna play hacky sack. Keep an eye on them, Vernon. I'm gonna go figure out what's causing this. Roger that, Raz. Did you ladies know one of the bloodiest battles of the Civil War was fought on the shore of this very lake? Yup, it's true. It happened back when this place was still an Indian summer camp and burial ground. A group of Union soldiers got separated from their regiment. Night was falling, and they were cold and scared of Dracula. Boo. <laughs> um, I'm kidding. They were just terrified of getting shot. Though I'm sure any of them with any sense were afraid of Dracula too. They stumbled across an old building. You could still see it on the far side of the lake. So they decided to spend the night there. Little did they know, it was an abandoned Indian insane asylum built on a caveman burial ground. Yup. Little did they also know that a cursed fish lived in the asylum and that he was an escaped lunatic but from a different asylum. So even though he was actually living in an asylum, he was still counted as escaped. And what was his curse, you ask? Where his gills should have been, he had hooks. Yup, and where one of the hooks should have been, he had a lug. Yep, a lug, and instead of being about 14 inches long, he was 10 feet tall. But that wasn't the scariest thing. The scariest thing, the absolute scariest thing, and the thing that still makes the old timer's blood turn to ice, and vice versa, is the part I said first about how he had hooks for gills. Oh, brr. Lovely story, Vernon. Lovely story. Oof. Oh, now, Raz, you made me lose my place. Where was I, girl? Uh-oh. Oh, well. Guess I have to start over at the... Well, you all have fun! Keep watch over these guys while I try to find their brains. I'm going back to Sasha's lab now to find out what's going on. Take your time. I've got them. Dogen! TV? Yeah. Good idea. You rest here while I find your brains. Okay, so three kids have lost their brains, and Vernon's just enjoying the time to actually hang out with people and tell his stories. You, don't want to hear it. you have fun. You stay safe in here. Okay, can we get anything from the shop? Hey, anything new in the store? Maybe we can get a couple of side cores. We pick. We're we're gonna be picking up a lot of side cards since we're. Gonna be, you know, picking up as much as we can around camp. So some psychors is probably a good idea. Now, you take that Come on, shop. Let me out. Really? Thank you. My god, the shop can be weird sometimes. Okay, so there were children on the roof. We found where the missing kids were. Now that we have... We should probably deal with those children on the roof. Also, six more side cards, one more scavenger hunt item in this area. All right, what what should we focus on first? I don't know. Those children on the roof seem pretty important. Do not want children falling off. Let's go see if they're okay. Well, 
Wow, okay, that TV room is not stable. Look at that, it's just kind of hanging out there. Ooh, side card. Damn it. Really, Raz? Well, we try from this... this... intercom... pole. Can we get to that side card? So this there we go. Yep. I'm so happy, Clem. Me too, Crystal. It's going to be great, isn't it? Super great. We're going to be so powerful, aren't we? More powerful than you can imagine. <sighs> I can't wait. Oh, these children are very concerning. Are they are not okay? What is happening? What? Why are they talking about being powerful when they are standing on a goddamn roof? And didn't we see them holding poison like a while back, a level or two back? <sighs> Something's not right with those kids. Let's go make sure they're not going to do anything dumb. All right, Clem and Crystal, what is going on with you two? Careful not to fall. Hello? What are you guys doing up here? Oh, hey, Raz! Didn't see you there. We're just looking at the sunset. Shh, just wait until he leaves. I don't trust it. I don't trust them. We got a couple of big promotions for the winner. This is so suspicious. Are they going to say anything new? I left. Are you going to speak up now? No? Okay. Fine, I'll leave you be. Okay, well, I did see some side cards that we can probably reach with levitation from up here. There's one down there, and possibly something over here? There's a side card. There's one? Should be five, nope, four more. There's a couple things over here, hang on. Side card and scavenger hunt item. I see another side card over here. There's one down there on top of the log history of Whispering Rock Camp. Anything else? Can we spot the last one from here? Yeah, it should just be that one and one more. Perfect. Okay, where is that last side card? Is it not in the parking lot? I've kind of checked basically all of this area. I feel like the parking lot's the least explored area out of here, and I've checked all of it, so... Hmm. Alright, what do we got on the bulletin board over here? If you want your last homework assignment, you can find it at the bottom of Lake Oblongata, where I put it. Which is where I'll put you and those hoes, Frankie and Kitty. If you ever mess with Elton again. Understood? Milka. My god, Milka! Jesus, what is wrong with you, child? Alright, spotted the last side card while we were reading that. And that should be all of them here? Yes. The entry area, the main lodge, is now 100% complete. So I'm thinking next time we continue exploring to the west.